And so that anointing could flow and that pre presence could be there and that God could be with them. They were walking in fellowship and they walked right into jail with him and he was there with them. They refused not to love. Love is governed by will. It is not just an automatic thing. It's not something I have to feel it. You don't have to feel anything. I will not do anything that's not loving. I just won't. You have to take that position. And if somebody speaks something against somebody, don't let it get inside. It's so easy talking to somebody and they'll criticize somebody else and begin to run that person down. And if you don't look out, it'll get right into you. And you'll start going against that person. And the next time you'll see them, you'll think of this. You'll say, hmm, yeah, you've got a sweet face, but I know what he did. Wait a minute. Wait, let's stop right there. You're not loving. Let that be the red light to you. Wait a minute. Why can't I look him in the face like I used to? Why can't I look at her like I used to? Uh-huh. I let the devil come with his shears and snip my stem, my life stem. I can't afford it. I can't afford not to love. That's the answer to walking in fellowship with God. God is love. And he that loveth knoweth God. And loveth God. Father, I ask you in Jesus' name. Speak to these hearts, every one of us. You want us to move in real fellowship. I've seen some of these hearts, Lord, struggling to try to love you, struggling to, cry, to move into fellowship, even these days. But it wouldn't flow. It wouldn't flow. It wouldn't flow. Master, Let the spirit of forgiveness come upon us. Let the spirit of love come upon us. Let the spirit of wisdom come upon us. That will say, I'm sorry, Lord. I let self-pity come in. I let hurt come in. I let offense come in. I let a resentment come in. And now, your spirit can move, but it doesn't mean much to me. Your word can come, but it doesn't mean much to me. The anointing is gone. Father, I ask, give us the wisdom to turn against that infection, infectious thing and say no. You're not going to cut my life off. You're not going to destroy my fellowship. You're not going to bring me into death. For I will live. For I love God. And if I love him, I will keep his commandments. And you command me to love one another. Father, this I ask in Jesus' name. I want us to stand to our feet, please. I didn't ask you to come forward yet. I just asked you to stand to your feet, but it's all right. How many has the Holy Spirit been speaking to this morning? And there are those that are not loving, and you know it. You're those who are offended with, and you know it. I want you to come forward. I can't do your praying for you. I can't do your forgiving for you. I can pray with you. I can ask God to give you that mercy, that realization. I can't afford it. I can't afford it. I will love. And I want you to put that person right before your eyes in your imagination. Or that person's. And if that person is present, I want you to go to that person. If it's your father, your mother, if your pastor, a brother or sister, I want you to go to that person. Fill my heart with love. Fill my heart with love. With love. 
that's from above. We can't afford not to love. And as we sing this little song, I want you to be free, first of all, to move amongst yourselves and let the spirit of forgiveness cover you completely and wipe it out until you can return back into fellowship with God. Mighty God and fill my heart with love. Fill my heart with love.